Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's like 7.30 in the morning and I'm about to do some hiking with a friend here in town, in Tucson, downtown at Timamak Hill. It's a really nice workout. Most of it's, all of it is uphill pretty much um, until you get to the top and then have to go down. But it's really nice and I think, it, I don't remember if it was 45 minutes or an hour up. I think it's 45 but we're going to see here. But I'm just going to film it and then maybe we'll get coffee. Um, but we're pretty much going to do a day in life on a Saturday and we'll go from there. My face is greasy because I put on sunscreen. Look at my cheap self, three dollars. <laughs> um, 100 SPF recommendation minimum is 30. I was gonna do my standard moisturizer SPF that's 30, um, but I'm wearing glasses. I'm not gonna really wear a hat, so I figured I just want some extra coverage. Um, although 30, 100. 200 SPF I mean 30 minimum so but um I was also feeling lazy when I woke up this morning because nobody wants to wake up at 7 a.m when they don't have to work but you know trying to change my life and do different things here so I'm gonna try to be productive do this and then this will be my exercise for the day and then we'll see what I do for the rest of the day this might be it I might just be bumming it at home um, but either way I'll take you guys on the hike with me, so stay tuned. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, and I really appreciate all your guys' continued support. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I also wanted to comment on how I'm really devastated that the plastic in my car cracked. My car is super old. It is 15. 14. It's 14 years old. I paid $5,000 for it. I've had it for almost six years. I've never financed a car before um, because that money I rather spend investing so that way one day I don't have to work because I'm not going to just depend on the military's retirement because that's 12 years from now so I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket. So yeah I'd rather take like that monthly payment and just invest it. So I have a really old car and I really love her and she's super reliable. I will only have to do like oil change on her, buy new tires, um, change some like cabin air filter and like little things like that but I haven't had to do any major work, fingers crossed. Um, but yesterday I went to go and pull out my hospital badge or my clinic badge and this little piece of plastic, this little piece of plastic was broken. I'm super devastated. It's like damaged now I guess what I used to do is I'd pull this out and I put my phone on it and so then I would talk to people on FaceTime from like right here as it's hanging on that little door piece and I guess just continuing to use that the age of the car probably the heat of Arizona although it's not hot right now um all those factors combined maybe now I have damage and I'm just so devastated so hopefully that's not a sign that I'm gonna have any internal damage in the engine in the front area so, um, but if I do, hopefully my emergency fund is sufficient enough to buy another car similar to this one. But anyway, I just want to show you guys that because I'm really sad about it. But anyway, off we go hiking.
finished the hike. I we walked a total of like 8,000 steps, which is freaking great because if I can walk 10,000 steps a day, I'd be so happy with that. Um, but it's kind of hard with working in a clinic and I really there's no not a lot of foot space. So um, I usually don't get to 10,000 and I don't even get to 5,000, honestly. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Um, I was going to go to Lowe's to return a washer or dryer. I think it was a dryer um, cord piece that I had accidentally purchased. Um, it's like 16 bucks. I was going to return it, but Lowe's is out of the way. And I just don't really feel like going there. I'm really hungry. So I'm on my way home. We are stopped at some train tracks. So... I'm in a very, very long line waiting for um, the train to pass by. I'm gonna go home, make some food, and then really the biggest thing I need to do today is make sure that I have the appropriate uniforms for OTS. So I'm just going to do inventory essentially on my PT gear. Um, I only have one set of OCPs. I have some ABUs, but I don't really fit in them anymore since I'm older now. But I'm basically just going to do that and come up with a running list of things I need to buy. So that way I'm prepared to leave um, on this day next month. So that's what we're going to do today. We are home. I have... Oh, great. I guess I have a visitor. Hey, we have to get down. Zoe is such a sweet and affectionate little girl. She's, what are you, seven months old now? She's like seven months and maybe a week at this point, but she's just such a sweet girl. But I did make um, ground turkey. I drained the fat. I actually rinsed the ground turkey and then just finished cooking it or finished heating it up um, a couple days ago. And then I had beans. Salsa, cheese, cilantro, tortillas. So I'm going to make a burrito and then go from there. I went grocery shopping on Monday on, I think it was the 18th. Yeah, I think it's like the 18th now. And I spent like 48 bucks and I've only gone out to eat once. And that was last night I went out to eat with a friend. And then otherwise I've been eating from home and I'm just so proud of myself because usually I would honestly go and get fast food or Chipotle and that stuff adds up after a while. It gets to be really expensive. I try to like gauge how much I would spend on each meal if I just solely went out to eat. And so I would like to say like $5 on average because I'm usually, I usually order from the like non-expensive side of the menu. Um, so I just try and like guess how much money would I have spent by now if I just went out to eat from Monday to now. I have spent, I would have spent more already in um, eating fast food than the cost of groceries so groceries are definitely the way to go i still have tons of food left too so I'm trying to save money so i can invest it and then that way one day i don't have to work anymore or not that i don't have to work anymore but more so that i'm working because i want to not because i have to kind of thing So I warm, I'm warming up beans, brown turkey, and then they're about to be done in a second. And then I am going to warm up a tortilla on here. So there's some olive oil still left because I did warm up some corn tortillas yesterday. I fried them actually, so they were crispy. Then I'm gonna add on my condiments and then blueberries for a side. And that's pretty much it. Hi, the sweet girl. So beautiful out. It's pretty cold, but I'm laid up in a blanket. I ate maybe an hour and a half ago. I'm going to take a nap and then I'm going to inventory my stuff. So I'll see you guys then. <laughs> 